guys and welcome back yes we're back out on the course lockdown is easy over here in the UK and we'll have to go out and play golf so I wonder how many of you bought new equipment and suddenly we couldn't go and play golf so you sat there in your bag doing nothing or old equipment so the reason for today is I want to know how old is the driver in your bag? You know, it doesn't matter what it is, how old is it? Um, reason being, before lockdown, I decided to get rid of my ping G5. I went to Cobra. And that was a mistake. Because the Cobra come out one day and it was back on eBay the next. So I was looking around. I thought, hmm, what shall I buy? And I come across a tailor-made R11. Now, it is 11 yet, uh, 10, 10 years old, I think, this year. So I thought, I'll do some investigation, as you do, when you're looking at clubs, YouTube or the internet. And I come across Mark Crossfield. You all know who he is. He has his own channel. I did a test on his new driver against the R11. And the R11 was coming out about 10 yards shorter than he was in his other one. So I thought, well, it's got a nice shiny white face, which I'll show you shortly. Um, but the other thing to disappoint about it is, is it's got its original grip, so we have to get that re-gripped. Now, I have used it a few times, and I have been hitting it quite well. So, I thought we'd just do a quick shot here while we're on the six hole down here at Avro. Uh, normally, I hit it near the tree, um, but the way I'm playing today, it can go anywhere, because today's not a good day for some reason. But get out of your system, ready for the comp. So, don't forget, comment down below how old your driver is, what's the make, and if you're looking at changing a driver, something a bit newer or you're quite happy with what you've got so we're going to tee off we're going to see where the ball goes i'll show you the tree it's just down there if you can see the tree big tree uh, i usually end up about round about there but today anything could happen okay i don't know whether you can see this a lot but uh, it's a nice little i like the, I like, well, I like the white face few chips on it um, it's a 10.5 I've got it set to neutral and standard loft uh, and the other thing I've had to do was buy bigger tees because the other ones were a bit too small now right, guys so we're gonna go and this is probably gonna go very much to the right because I'm not playing very well today might be a bit too high, uh. Right, so this might go to the right. It might go straight. But who knows? What do you know? It's gone straight. Right, guys. Um, it's somewhere down the middle of the fairway. I'm not too sure where. Um, so we'll see if we can find it. And what we'll do, we'll put the yardage on as well so we see how far we hit it. I'll pick it up again when we get down there. Right, guys. So we found it. And it's here. tree is somewhere behind me. There. And according to the uh, bush norm, it's gone 185, which is not bad for me, really. Because you know, I've got the, uh, the biggest swing. So we're going to finish off this par 4. And 
we've got 187 yards to go to the pin. So what we'll do again is we're going to pick this up on the 8th or the 9th hole. We'll see how we do with that shot as well. Right guys, we've uh, moved to the 8th tee now. Uh, so we're going to tee off here as well, see how good we do it. So there's a big... There we go. There's a big fence which is to the right hand side of you on the 8th here. Um, it's a bit like water. You get attracted to it, the balls just decide they want to go there. So we always aim left on this hole. Um, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll just quickly show you the club address. So as you can see it's got a nice shiny white. There's a few chip marks in it, nothing exciting. Um, and underneath it as well, well you can see the, the little wave thing that's uh, normally red but obviously it's, it's quite a few years old so guys don't forget comment below um, how old the driver is that's in your bag if you're thinking about buying a new one which one are you going to buy or which one would you recommend for anybody to buy and have you been fitted for your driver that's the other question so we're going to tee off and we'll see how we do It's all I'm not, but we aim left because of the fence, and it's the safest place to be. So I'm going to finish these two holes off, and uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll see you later. Cheers.